Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the difference between 16-bit and 8-bit. Now, what is 8-bit? Well, if we go over here to the channels panel, we see we have red, green, and blue. Each of these channels is made up from 0, black, to full, uh, white is 255. So if you take 0 to 255, include a 0, you have 256. If you take 256 times 256 times 256, each representing the red, green, and blue, we're going to come out to about 16.8 million um, colors to work with, right? Or tones. Now, if you have 16-bit, you have 65, well, 65,536 for the red, 65,536 for the green, 65,536 for the blue, which gives me approximately 281 trillion colors to work with. So instead of the 16.8 million, I get 281 trillion trillion which one sounds better already now unfortunately this will increase your file size and unfortunately some of the filters that if you want to use are unable to use but the majority you can the things that you need to use will be there so let me go ahead and click on the RGB image oh, okay. I'm gonna click on the layers now if you don't have the adjustments panel open I'm just gonna use this to show you I'm gonna click on adjustment panel and I'm gonna choose exposure and you can see that my image is in 16 bit which is an indicator right here all right, and we have this um, image of this, these three ladies that are blown out. Now, wouldn't you like some more wiggle room to see if you can save this image? Maybe you can't, maybe you can, but wouldn't you like wouldn't you uh, like the flexibility? So working with more colors allows that flexibility. So if you make a, a little correction, it's not going to have a drastic impact. It's going to have a little impact. So um, let me show you. So if, just to show you, we're not going to fix the photo, but just to give you an example. Uh, get my histogram out, so I'm going to click on my histogram. I'm going to pull it over here so you can see it better. Now, when you see this triangle, it usually means just click on it, just resets it for you. So let me just move the exposure over a little. All right, then let me choose the offset. Okay, and then maybe some gamma correction, which is your midtones. Okay, you got to be careful because you can overdo it. But this isn't fixed by far, but as you can see from the histogram, what's happening. We're having some of the highlights are are being dropped out in some of the shadows so we can get some detail in those areas. Click on this and look at our histogram. Nice and clean. So we have some continuous tones, right? So let me go back and get rid of this. Let me go over here to image mode and switch from 16 bits to 8 bits. All right, we have the same histogram, no problem. We're going to use the same exposure and we're going to make the same settings maybe here you can see that my changes now are more drastic with little changes and I don't have as much um, flexibility there we go now we're going to click on this triangle okay it's not going to show you yet. I'm trying to show you here okay and I'll click on the triangle yeah, now it's doing it. With the 8-bit, we don't have the continuous tones. We see some break in the histogram. Now, these breaks could could, could indicate um, posterization or banding, or may not. It depends. But this is one of the other reasons you want to work with 16-bit, because you have less of this happening. So you can see that with 16-bit, you have more flexibility. You have more colors, more tones to work with. Um, you can make... Um, gradual changes as compared with the 8-bit they can be a little bit more dramatic and also um, with the 16-bit you have a less chance of having any banding or pulsarization happening as you can sh um, see here in the histogram now I have this in 8-bit if I want to revert this back I just would just go to file and revert and I'll bring it back to the 16-bit as we see here and next lesson we're going to talk about levels